Okay, Shalom. Okay, I'd like you to all praise on and glory to Yahweh, bless you, Yahweh Shai, Brock of the Yahweh, bless you, Yahweh Shai, Brock of the Kakadash. Double honor to our apostles of Great Millstone, elders of GMS. Salutations and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel, people of Negro and Indian descent. Okay. This is the spirit of the Lord calling these women out. It's the spirit of the Lord that's, you know, they got the bullseye on these women now. And it's going to continue to go down like this until the end, man. You know, the truth of these women, you know, the truth of these women, how there's, you know, they're just in the foul spirit. And the funny thing, this foul spirit has overcome the world, man. It's, you know. This foul spirit has got the world it is wrapped in, under its under her uh say you like thighs under those rotten thighs you know <laughs> you know mr B what's the book of ecclesiastes say it's uh, amongst a thousand women you know he found none righteous and that's the scriptures is backing this up you know that's why they look at each other with uh, disdain in their eyes toward each other. You know, women hate each other, man. <laughs> you know, it's in their spirit. They know how foul the next one is. <laughs> That's all it is. But like I said, this article here doesn't surprise me in the least bit. And we've always known this. We've always known this. But now it's starting to come out. The world doesn't listen to the men of the Lord. But when the white man brings out something, and they reach the news or an article, then that's when it catches the fool's attention. Ugly, rich men, women are turned on by charm and cash while men go and looks. Scientists confirm in discovery, which surprises no one. Which surprises no one. <laughs> you know, this is Ecclesiastes, Sharak, the 26th chapter. Straight out the book. This is straight out the Bible. Science confirms what we all knew. Women are turned on by charm and cash. While men go on looks. And you hear the apostles warning your younger brothers, man, that the younger I can about these women, you know. It's best not to have one. If you feel like you have that that burning sensation. <laughs> I said burning sensation. If you got that itch, you know, go buy you a hooker, man. Go buy you a little strange something, something. You know. But these women, man, like a book says, it'll take men and understanding up out of this truth and I know that's somewhere in um, Chirac as well but I'm not going to look for that in a discovery which surprises no one a study found fellas value sex, bo sexy bodies and attractive faces more, much more than women do and you know I might want to bring to your attention why these um, these um, erectile pills is on the rise man they, they're literally making these Edomites millionaires overnight, man, with the sell of these erectile pills because the women have no more shape, man. They they literally destroy their bodies. And what we look at a woman, we look at we want that hourglass. But when she take off her clothes and all you see is um um pretty much an abomination. <laughs> you know, layers and layers and layers. I mean, you can't get stimulated by that, you know? So here we go. And it is great news for Microsoft Bill, billionaire Bill Gates 65, who recently split with his wife as woman like high income, intelligent and emotional con and emotional connections. And I don't know where the hell that come from, you know? An emotional connection. Experts are now set to establish whether the Pope is really Catholic and what bears do in the woods, the son understands. Dr. Stephen White, a behavior scientist at Queensland University in Australia, said males and females can differ quite significantly. And the women get mad at you because you attracted to her body, you know? You know? <laughs> they get they literally take offense because you're attracted to their bodies. You gotta understand everything is an op is out of order, man. You know? Everything is out of order. You know? Here they wanna hear the first the photos they take, they quick to turn their ass around and point that ass at you, but they get offended. 
You know, you see how for the, you know, see how there's no wisdom in these women. You know, see how there's no understanding in these women. I mean, straight up stupid, man. He said males and females can differ quite significantly in the importance they place in characteristics. Both sexes tend to find the same thing, sexy and potential mate, but it changed at different life stages. The study published in the journal Plo One survey, sloppy, 7,325 dating sites, users age 18 to 65, if found blocked in their 20s value looks, age and physical built four times more than young women do, four times, even in their 60s. This also reminded me of uh, Proverbs 7 again. Looks continue to matter more than twice as much to men. But fellas, priorities do change as they get older and they start to appreciate openness and trust almost as much as women in their 60s. For young ladies, personality is three times more important than it is to men. We don't have a choice in all reality. You may find a... Uh, a lively female, you know, you know, you may have a, a serious connection to her, but as far as what's in her mind, man, it's very, very limited, very, very limited, you know, you got to understand they're coming from, they're, they're, they're part of the world, you know, participants were asked to rate the importance of nine traits of mates, including age, attractiveness, physical built, intelligence, income, education, trust, openness, and emotional connection. <laughs> I guess that's it on that. I guess that's it on that. Here we go. Please, Sirach 26 and 12, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler who he hath found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver, her legs, against every arrow, rod, you know. And this is what we're dealing with, man. You're not going to get no, what they say, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. You know, what's that saying about the world, you know, especially marriage. When we know marriage is sex, but look at the worldly view, what the world view is marriage. Going through the altar and, you know, in front of some demon and exchanging rings you know, even that's not existence these days. <laughs> you know, can't turn a house into a, a hole into a housewife. So, like I said, she will sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. You know, as long as you sound right, man. You know, as long as you have the fake jewelry, can be the fake jewelry, can have your your Sunday's best outfit on, and the, and you speaking the, the best lies, man. She's gonna open her fall for the okie doke. Well, that's her will anyway. Her will is to fall for the okie doke. These women like you to lie to them, you know. They won't admit it, but they like they you have to lie to them to be successful dealing with them. It says, is there more of that, you know, as going into a, uh, a wife and a husband? So, um, But like I said, I was mentioning, I mentioned proper 7. Um, let me get that. Is it Proverbs 7 I'm thinking about? Uh, starts out at one my son keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee keep my commandments and live in my law as the apple of thine eye you know so pretty much saying that you know make this truth and keep this truth as your priority you know and live in it man and grow in it you know then you'll see then then, then this truth that help uh, guide you especially when it's dealing with these women even in the moment of heat man you know even in the moment of heat like we said get you a get, go get you a prostitute man go get you a hooker man you know and strap it up you know bind them upon thy fingers write them upon the table of thine heart keep it in your mind say unto wisdom thou art my my sister and call understanding thy kinswoman that they may keep thee from strange women 
from the stranger with flatters with her words. You know, they tell you, you know, they they speak things that, you know, that you want to hear as well. Their ultimate goal is to trap you, man. That's their goal. So they'll play that game as well as, you know, I'm a I'm a good girl, I'm a good woman, you know. I haven't slept with a man in three years, and it's you literally been three hours. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, and I always mention to brothers, you gotta learn to recognize the sign, the signs of that woman that's that's literally opening her legs to every quiver. It's a smell, man. You know, there's there's smells. You know, there's d disease smells. Is the the smell before the disease come? <laughs> you know, if there's different. If there's multiple, uh, um, um, if there's multiple, um. DNA from multiple men in that side of that woman, you're going you gonna to know the difference. And I'm talking about some horrible smells come out from between these women's legs, man. I mean some horrible smells, man. Which they, for some reason, they can't, they don't know it. You know? Uh, well, again, flatters with her words. Let me get this scripture real quick. Yeah, I can't think of the scripture. Um, for at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones. I, I discerned among the youth a young man void of understanding. You know, and that's a, this is a serious warning to you young brothers, man. Passing through the streets near her corner, and he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot, and subtle in heart. You know, can you can you can picture that now? The yoga pants, the black yoga pants they wear, the popular black yoga pants, where you can see the camel toe. You can literally see, they got them so you can see the the, the crack of their ass. They're so tight. It's at the crack. You can see the every every outline of them, man. You know. And the scriptures tell you how a woman uh, is known by her hardly looks and, eye, and, uh, and eyelids. That's a scripture, you know. Um, that's 26 and 9. That the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. You see? That's Sherrod 26 and 9, man. So it says here. Um, where was I at? Um, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. And and it's and I ninety five percent of women out there right now have the attire of an harlot. You know. And subtle in heart of heart, she is loud and stubborn. I was witnessing this last night. Her feet abide not in her house. Now she without now she without now in the streets and lieth in wait at every corner. You know. So everywhere you go, there's going to be some woman out there looking on the hunt on the prowl. That's every corner. Everywhere you go, man, everywhere you go, there's a woman out there that's on a, that's on a hunt, that's looking to trap a man. So she caught him and kissed him. And kissed him, and with an imprudent face said up to him, I have peace offerings with me. Look, baby, I got some weed, I got some alcohol, you know, I can cook, you know. This day have I paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee, diligent to seek thy face, and I have found thee. She found a sucker. I have decked my bed. And so like I said, you know, you know, some may be sincere in heart, but the thing is, is just which place are you? Uh, are you? Uh, are you individual? 
four four ninety five four nine five or four nine six <laughs> or one hundred <laughs> you know they don't have the common sense to stop man you know they don't have the common sense well they do when they get up in age when they literally going crazy and they're on these these uh, psych pills and you know just to keep their sanity wondering why they can't keep a man you know <sighs> this is crazy man it says therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face and I found thee I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry with carved works with fine linen of, of Egypt I have perfumed my bed with more aloes and cinnamon just these working hoes man that, that would never admit that they are hoes they got it going on you go in their homes man this home smelling good you know it has that uh that hotel that uh expensive hotel uh in uh, uh the spirit of a hotel an expensive hotel room you know you know I've been fortunate enough to deal with the uh, the ones women that are more fortunate than the, a lot of the ones that you know that are having hard times. Well, all, the hard times only because of their own doing. A lot of them are weed heads, you know. And every month, every other week, or wherever they get paid, they you know there's a percentage of that money that's going to alcohol and and they gunja, <laughs> you know. Some have more prior their more their priorities in check than others, you know. And I've been fortunate enough to have the, the the you know be attracted to the ones that have their somewhat morals more in check than others, you know. Personally, I like a broke hoe, man. You know, you know, a lot of them are more um, humble. You know, they're cool. They're cool. You know. It says. Um, Come, let us take our feel of love until the morning. Ooh, you know. Come, let us take our feel of love until the morning. Let let us solace ourselves with love. You know, I'm gonna stab your ass in the back after you hit it and you get up. I gotta go. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the ancient world. This isn't these women now. You know, you get yours off, you know, you, you got to lay there and you just got to deal with it. That's, <laughs> you know, let us, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let's get it on, you know. Mm. So I guess you got to take that pill. <laughs> I guess you got to take that pill to do, you know, to keep going. Especially if he and she ain't got that figure no more. You know, especially if she have a bad odor, no shape. Ooh, Lord, it's a challenge then, isn't it? You know, and it's this, if this shoe fits you women, then you offended by it. If the shoe fits, then hey, 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 if the shoe don't fit, you know, it's a blessing to understand, to, to come to the real, real, realization of this reality and accept it and, and then change your way, man. That, that type of woman is blessed in the eyes of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai. It's blessed, man. You know? And it comes out rough and raw because the situation is rough and raw. It, the situation is extreme. You know? The condition of our women, man. This is an extreme, you know, it's, it's life or death. But they don't see that and can it and won't accept that you know you turning your ways from filthiness and foul you know uh, uh, out of that whoremonger spirit it's a blessing man to come up out of that this says here For the good man is not at home. Ooh, adulterous. He is gone a long journey. So the scripture says about adulterer and adulteress, they all 
you know, put them both to death. Let me see. Um, let me see if I can find this. I don't have my Bible with me. Oh. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, and that's girlfriend as well, you know, that modern day girlfriend, bush, girlfriend, boyish, boy, boyfriend, girlfriend madness is, you know, that's a, whenever I'm gonna have to do a search, a little research on when did that come about, you know, they use that girlfriend, boyfriend as an excuse, or oh, we're not married, you know. You gotta remember the Lord calls this an adulterous generation, man. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. You see? So, you know, I don't sweat it when wife going a mission or when she leave the home, I don't sweat it, man. You know, because I have faith. I have, the, I have faith that Yahweh Shimei Abishai is going to handle it. Rather keep her simple ass in line, or you know, or just, you know, I, I, I have faith that he either, you know, he's going to handle it, or destroy her simple ass, or just keep her in line. You know, I have other things. I'm looking at the bigger picture. We have bigger stones to work. We have bigger stones to be, you know, you know, that has been thrown thrown at us to worry about, man. The goddamn world, these Edomites, man. We have bigger things, much more important things to be sweating about than these goddamn women, man. These goddamn women, you know. So he has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. <laughs> he goeth after her straightway. And remember, what does Proverbs 7 begin with? What is, how did it begin? Keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thine eye. That's the key to dealing with all this. It's the key. So it says here, With her much fair speech she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips she forced him. I see the bullshit. You know? Talking to these women. I, I hear the madness, man. You know, I keep a, 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 a straight face. You know, I don't come out. I don't call them out on their madness. It's entertaining to me. You know. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter. Or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. To a dark strike through his liver. As a bird hasten to the snare. And knoweth not that it is for his life you know and what's the scripture say about an adulterous man he destroyeth his own soul the scripture said he destroyeth his own soul man you know the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh put on putting us, us men the spirit of jealousy man you see red you know you see red and by the what I mean by that man you would kill anything in sight you find something laying down with your woman, man. Imagine catching it in the act. <sighs> man. Because of this truth, man. Personally, I think I'll just walk away. <laughs> you know, honestly. It'll be hard, but I think I'll just walk away. I don't know. I'll probably throw a, a couple of blows with, with a bat, and I'll just walk away. I ain't taking no life, though. You know? 
spend my the rest of my days in, in jail, man, when we got this work to do. You see how important to keeping this truth and keeping this word in your heart, man, in your mind, you know? Your very next move could destroy it, man. So you got to keep this truth in your mind. Pretty much this truth is like keeping your, keeping your sanity. Hearken unto me now, therefore, ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. Don't be out there chasing after these women. Don't be out here preaching, teaching that about these women and this and that, but the camera turns off. You out here, you're out there chasing them down. You know? <laughs> For she have cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. And, that, and now that I now that I read that, her house is the chambers of hell. <laughs> Let me get this scripture. It's on um, Shirak on. Um, Right here, let me find this. It's um, oh, here we go. Sharat 19 and 2. It says, Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away, and he that cleaveth to harlots will become an impotent. Okay, well, that's an example of one that didn't have it in his heart, man. That didn't have it in his will and his heart to 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 keep, continue on in this path of truth, you know. Okay, spirit of y'all, bless y'all, I hope you were edified. I hope this helps you out a little with dealing with the uh, your, your, your everyday steps. <laughs> okay. Till next time, Lord willing, shalom.